You're sitting in a meeting and someone mentions a technology you've never heard of. Everyone else nods like they know exactly what it is, and you panic. You smile and pretend you get it, but inside you're thinking, I'm cooked, I shouldn't be here. If that sounds familiar, congrats. You're a developer, because every single developer has imposter syndrome, and here's why it never goes away. First, the field moves too fast for anyone to keep up. There's a new framework every week, a new best practice every month. You finally learn React, and everyone's saying it's outdated. You get comfortable with REST, and now it's all GraphQL. You master GraphQL, and suddenly everyone's back to REST. You can't win, and nobody else is keeping up either. That senior dev who seems to know everything, they're Googling just as much as you. The difference between a junior and a senior isn't knowledge. It's how well you hide the panic. Juniors think seniors know everything. Seniors know they don't know anything. The imposter syndrome doesn't go away when you get better. It just changes form. And here's what makes it worse. The more you learn, the more you realize you don't know. Socrates said, the only true wisdom is knowing you know nothing. When you're a beginner, you think programming is just syntax. But as you get deeper, you realize there's systems design, distributed computing, networking, security, databases. The rabbit hole never ends. You level up, and instead of feeling more confident, you just become aware of how much more there is to learn. Second, programming is the only field where your work is constantly compared to everyone else's. You write a function, and there are 10 better ways to do it. You solve a problem, and someone on Stack Overflow did it in three lines while yours took 20. You build a project, and some 16-year-old built the same thing better in half the time. Every single thing you create can be immediately compared to someone else's superior version. Other fields don't have this problem. A doctor performs surgery, and it works, or it doesn't. But developers? Every day you're reminded that someone out there is better than you. Some genius wrote a library that does in one line what took you a week. Some teenager solved elite code hard problems you can't even understand, and it makes you feel like you're always behind. And third, the job itself is designed to make you feel incompetent. You spend most of your time not knowing how to do something. That's literally the job. But that constant confusion makes you feel like a fraud. You read documentation that doesn't make sense. You debug errors you don't understand. You stare at code for hours with no idea what's wrong. And the whole time you're thinking a real developer would know this. But here's the reality. Real developers struggle with this exact thing every single day. The difference is they've done it long enough to know that struggling is normal. That confusion is part of the process. But when you're in it, it doesn't feel normal. It feels like proof that you don't belong. Here's what you should remember. Imposter syndrome doesn't mean you're a bad developer. It means you're a developer. The people who don't have imposter syndrome are either lying or they're not paying attention. The moment you stop feeling like an imposter, is the moment you stop learning. You will never stop feeling like a fraud. You just get better at accepting that you aren't. Now, let's get to the sponsor of this video, Savala. Savala is a modern platform as a service that takes care of the boring, time-sucking infra stuff, so you can focus on building. You get fully managed services, Git-based deploys, and no surprise bills. It's fast, reliable, and comes with support from real devs who know what you're dealing with. Most platforms charge extra just for that. Savala doesn't. And here's what's crazy. Many of their clients, like Clear Estate, cut cloud costs by 88%, going from over $18,000 a month down to under $2,000 just by letting Savala handle the infrastructure. Try it out with $50 free credit, link below. Thanks for watching, and if you don't mind, subscribe.